So guys, I want to talk about this fake review that's gone up from Star Citizen. And the reason I want to talk about it is I want to talk about more the fact that this does to damage other reviews. Um, so some of you may know I am completely new to Star Citizen. I played the 3.2 patch, I played the 3.1 uh, PTU patch, 3.2 PTU patch. Apart from that, I'm still learning. Yeah, it's a steep learning curve, I'm still getting there. Everything's great. Um, the reason why I want to talk about this is someone has gone through and put up a review. So it's titled, Wild Ride, I'd Still Do It All Over Again. Uh, pros, I really enjoyed my initial time working at CIG slash F42, and I had a lot of freedom and initially unlimited scope to make the best product I could. Later that changed, but the first couple of years working on the physics model and pushing cryo engine Lombard to the limits were absolutely amazing. I really got to use all my varied and fairly niche skills ranging from C++ to 3D math and advanced physics, which is extremely rare in my industry. I had a great team working with me and those guys went above and beyond for both the business and me personally, doing more than I've ever seen developers in any other company do. The community were also super supportive and I love the interaction with them and updating them in their community forums on near daily basis. Now that sounds like it's a fairly decent review, it sounds like it's a a positive. They get into the cons and this is where it starts to show its hand a little bit. After the initial enthusiasm and glow of the first three years, things began to take a sour turn. The model we had created was amazing. It actually worked even better than we had anticipated. Many colleagues initially and the wilder community complimented our team's work. However, lately we were forced to change architecture part way through the development. I'll get to that in a sec which the game design is never a good thing, but we managed it well. Sadly, it then turned out that other aspects of the game connected to what we've been developing already for the initial three years were essentially technically unfeasible given current and near future levels of technology, basically making my role and the entire team redundant. Even worse is the completely ruined that we work that we've been doing up to this point, which many people in the community openly commented as quality of the product noticeably dropped. This led to my team feeling very frustrated. And that goes on saying, advice to management, uh, the scope of the project needs to be massively reined in and realistic expectations of what actually been delivered in the next decade or two need to be communicated honestly and clearly to the community supporting the business. There's no point wasting huge amounts of money, time and resources, plus community goodwill, hiring top end specialists and starting projects when you don't even know what they want to the finished product to look like or are even technically feasible. Micromanagement is also a massive issue, having almost every other line of code personally signed off, not just by your line manager and your local QA teams, but the directors themselves is frankly ridiculous and not development methodology I've ever encountered in this industry previously. I'm not even sure if it can be effective. That said, please keep up the passion and the dream alive. This is a really amazing environment and hopefully in the decade or so, the original dream can be finally realized. It definitely recommended if you got the opportunity to intern and work at CGI or CIG, sorry, earlier in your career to be exposed to the bleeding edge to work with people who really do generally love their product unlike a lot of other more cynical companies in this industry. So what's the problem with this review? It sounds kind of balanced. The problem is is that this review is fake and this is what I want to talk about. So in the review, when they turn around and they start talking about them working for CIG and they got to use their 3D math, advanced physics, C++, this is leading to the implication that this is actually written by John Pritchard. Now, John Pritchard was just recently left CIG. So a couple of the people in the YouTubing industry have contacted CIG. Pritchard, Board Gamer is one of them. 
Um, by the way, link to his channel below. Please go subscribe. He does amazing videos. And basically, John Pritchard has come out and he's put out this. It recently came to my attention. Someone impersonating me has posted a fake review on Glassdoor about my time on Star Citizen. I did not write this review. I have flagged it with the site, but I felt that I should make a post to get the word out in case anyone saw it and thought it was legit. Link to the same article that I've just read before. Very little from the review reflects my personal experience, but I particularly disagree with the characterization that I left because my systems and really that my myself had become obsolete as this game evolved. This definitely is not the case. Any game in Alpha is always evolving. Any system as critical as the flight model is therefore also evolving. I had remained with CIG, I would have continued to evolve, and it would certainly evolve without me. Anyway, from my friends who follow Star Citizen, if you see any reference to this post, please set the record straight for me. Thanks. So, okay. It, this is obvious that even John Pritchard has come out and debunked this exact article. He's linked it to the exact article. We know this article is fake. Why am I talking about this? So, I am new to the Star Citizen Galaxy. I have literally been a member for less than three months. Before coming and joining Star Citizen, I had saw, I looked up and I had gone through a lot of reviews. I saw some positive reviews, I saw some negative reviews, and in fact, I'm in the midst of writing my own honest review of the game, which probably be up towards the end of the week. There's a lot of work involved. We'll get to that. Um, but yeah, I, and I saw a lot of people saying they had gone through, they had sued the company because they wanted their money back, all this sort of turmoil that was supposedly surrounding the industry or in, around this game. Now, if you are going to go through and write fake reviews like this, you are not only discrediting your own review, you are also discrediting every other review that I've seen about this game that is negative. Because of this fake review, I now no longer believe any of those previous claims that people have made regarding Star Citizen. Especially if they're negative. People going on about how they've gone through and had to sue the company for getting their money back. I don't believe you anymore. This review has not only damaged its own reputation, but it's also damaged any other previous person who has gone on about the, the game and not liking the game, or this is the problem with the game. This is the problem with not so much trolling. Trolling is, okay, fine, whatever. But at the end of the day, this is the problem when it comes to people who write these fake reviews. I, I heard about a sensation where people went through and took them to court because of money, because of they want their money back, their funding, their funding back. I don't believe that anymore. I really, really don't. And I'm sorry. The, I am sorry to anybody who was in that situation, who has tried to be honest, because I no longer believe anything you say. I, I am going to have to base my view on this game entirely on my own personal view, which is not a bad thing. But, you know, when people go through and they start looking up... I'm not saying there's a problem with the game. Far from it. I love the game. I'm addicted to the game. But, if someone comes along and sees a negative review about the game, and then they see this, and they see this video, or Board Gamers video, or whoever it may be, pointing out this fake review, then at the end of the day, that initial view that they saw of this game being negative is completely almost discredited just because of this negative review that you've done. And, and you've done more damage to, quote, raise awareness about issues in gaming than, than you've, you, you've ever imagined. In fact, you probably put more people towards buying the game because now you've discredited any negative feedback. So if the person who wrote the initial review sees this video, smarten up, dude. Really. You, you, you wrote a fake review 
and you've probably put more people towards the game. Now, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I, like I said, I love the game. I love playing the game. I'm having a lot of fun playing the game. But at the end of the day, every other negative review saying that there is a, quote, problem with this game, no matter how true or false it might be, is now completely discredited. So congratulations. Apart from that, guys, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think I have a point about this? Does this, when you see these fake reviews, does it make you think, okay, so people are just trying to dog on the view or dog onto the, the game? Or do you still think there might be some truth to it? Or are you less skeptical about the negative reviews in the first place? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.